With the 13th pick in the 1996 NBA Draft, the Charlotte Hornets select Kobe Bryant from Lower Marion High School in Pennsylvania. So what is up and what is good YouTube, the World Wide Web, as you guys can see in full live high definition, it is your host with the most, Paul Cantu, back at you guys with a brand new episode of Sneaker Steals, praise God. So basically what I do in these episodes of Sneaker Steals is show you guys how you can get very rare dope kicks for the Lodo at the thrift or online or wherever the fuck you find deals and steals. So basically today, as the thrift guy that's came through with my new background, I will be showing off a very dope thrifted motherfucking Kobe. Without further ado, choirs in heavens, please sing as I show you this dope, very rare kick that your boy has acquired. <laughs> So as you guys can see right here, right now, we have the Kobe Zoom motherfucking Air for draft days. So these are really fucking sick. As you guys can tell, they're in the Charlotte Hornets colorway. You guys may be inquiring. Hey, Paul. Why are those Kobe's in the Charlotte Hornets colorway? Didn't Kobe play for the Lakers? Well, my fine citizens, Kobe Bryant did play for the Lakers, as you guys know, but he OG was drafted originally, was drafted by the Charlotte mother freaking Hornets. The Charlotte Hornets select Kobe Bryant. So yes, we have the draft days right here in hand in the mix, and they're in the luscious aqua berry cocaine colorway. Now you guys may be asking yourself, Hey Paul, but why did go to the Lakers? Because the Hornets fucked up. So who got the better deal after that? <clears throat> the Lakers. Hold up. Say you must not know who I am. You left me for another man. See, I don't think I understand what But enough of that, let's get back into the shoe because that is the primary focus of this video. So I actually thrifted these amazing aqua berry and cocaine Cool Whip white shoes at Play-Doh's Closet. I originally went in, I saw these on the shelf behind the counter, I was like, yo, let me peep though, shawty. So she brought them down, I looked at the inside, I was like, 80 bucks? <laughs> Trippy. So I was like, damn, this lady is for real, straight. Trippy. Then I quickly asked, Excuse me, ma'am, why are these shoes $80 and LeBron's are only $45? And she's like, well, on eBay, son, these shits go for about $500. So I quickly was like, hmm. We gonna get this money. We gonna get this money, yeah. Let me go check. So I went in my car, left these behind, did some investigative mother freaking journalistic research, and sure enough, I found out that these shoes actually are $500 to $275 on eBay, and there's only about four pairs of them actually up right now. And I was like, why the fuck are these shits so much money? I did some more research, and I found out it's because these are a Nike fuck up. Yes, your boy thrifted a genuine Nike fuck up. So on the back of these shoes, the reason they're called the draft day is because of course he was drafted by the Hornets. And on the back, it's supposed to be the OG draft day, which is 6-26-1996. However, as you guys can tell, these shoes actually say 6 11 96. So these actually have the wrong date. And Lord have mercy on my soul. Can you guys imagine? What happened to the poor, little, barely paid, next to nothing worker who made this typo? In a Nike sweatshop, I'm sure they don't play that shit. So they had a motherfucking guillotine that dude's head or some crazy ass shit. It is a sad day. However, for all the consumers who actually managed to grab a pair with the wrong day before Nike made the correction, these are extremely rare and extremely limited. So I was very happy about actually being able to find the pair that had the fuck up. So these were the first round of shoes that they quickly sold, then took off the shelves, and then restocked with the new versions. But enough chit chat as to why these aren't worth a shit ton. We gonna get this money. We gonna get this money, yeah. Let's go ahead and get into the shoe itself. So the shoe actually has a very dope Nike motherfucker swoosh check that is in the purple colorway with the nice teal outline. It also has a very sick honeycomb patteration going all throughout the white cocaine regions. It also has big ass perforations on the toe cap in case you guys got some stank ass athlete's foot. It also has some fly wire on the upper right there. If you're going to be a Scotty McFly guy, you got to have that fly wire for higher bro. You can floss your teeth, clean your grill with these shits, and they are definitely flamey and wavy. On the tongue you have the OG Kobe logo right there. Very sick and nice little meshing going on the tongue work as well so it's very comfortable. Then on the back of course you have the draft date. You have a deboss number 24. You have a beautiful heel cup. Double D's only son. With the beautiful Kobe John Hancock 
signature as well. And then the bottom of these shoes are absolutely bangingly gorgeous and flawless. How I see it, how I call it. They have a beautiful, again, translucent teal with a huge pelican or seagull shit stain splatter in the nice white colorway with a beautiful black hit that's found in all bird shit made out of the carbon fibre to provide maximum arch support, son. I am your father. So yes, these were a very clean shoe. They also have the purple checks on the bottom in a very dope aqua berry laces as well. So I was very stoked on the overall aesthetic of these shoe, the story behind them, and these are extremely valuable. Again, I found these in Plato's closet. I didn't speak too much on them when I found them just because I was in pure shock, but you hear me telling the nice woman, damn, these shits is fucking dope. These are so dope. So yeah, man, I saw these. I had to pull out the camera. I had to whip it out and record these shits because it was a monumental thrift day. Of course, these were 80 bucks in our size nine. These are not my size. They're over seven years old and again are super dope and very rare. So they will be for sale on hfv.bigcartel.com. That is my vintage website. That is the vintage plug. So if you guys need any OG clothing, that is the place to go. And of course, these are gonna be a little bit more pricey. However, they still are gonna be a steal of the deal for what these are actually worth. So if you guys are a fan of Kobe, the history, or the story behind these shoes, they will be able to be motherfucking purchased. But yeah, man, I was just very stoked on finding these shoes. Of course, you guys can find the steals of a deal in the thrift, so do not be hesitant to look. Peace out. I love you guys so much. Show some love in the comment section. I love reading the comments, and I will see y'all next time. Another episode of Sneaker Steals has concluded. Class, let go. Killing these songs, leaving a bloody life, I roost them. And I'm in it to win it, so I'm somebody that you should get used to.